Well, we're going to Chicoteak Island KOA for four days, three nights, I think. Yep, it's Thursday. We're hitched up and ready to go. In this video, we're going to show you some footage of us packing up the truck and uh, then our journey there over the Bay Bridge and our arrival at the Chicoteague KOA. So four day trip to the beach. Okay, everybody so we're kind of in the preliminary packing phase of everything here getting ready to go to the beach and uh, we're taking the bikes with us as you can see and uh, so we saw on uh, Adventure Endeavors YouTube channel they have these quick connects to mount the bikes to the bed slide so I've kind of got these in here you know one bike will be going this way and the other this way they have to kind of go diagonally a little bit to fit but it's working out pretty well um, another thing as far as truck organization goes is we've got these tool bags to replace the toolbox that I used to have which took up a bunch of space um, so and as you can see on the other side we got the air compressor and then another tool bag um, this bike though that uh, that Rachel currently uses it doesn't actually have the uh, quick connects on the um, forks so I had to modify the forks a little bit and of course you have to use wrenches to take the tire on and off which isn't ideal but um, we're gonna be getting new bikes um, at some point so uh, you know stay tuned for that we'll, we'll tell you about them when we do get them but mine does have quick connects on it um, and so they seem like they fit pretty well uh, we'll get these in here and then uh, like we mentioned previously, we got new dog crates that are a little bit smaller, which allow us to move things in and out much easier. And so here we go. And then, friends, these quick necks should be. relatively simple and quick to deal with. You just kind of tighten one end until it's fairly snug. And then the other end snaps out. Okay friends, so hopefully as the footage will show, there's a little bit of a learning curve to this. Everything is going to have its place and it's going to have to go in that place or this isn't going to work. But um, uh, before, Rachel never had one of these zero gravity chairs and um, so we bought a second one of these. Uh, this setup is basically allowing us to do that because we have room and payload capacity in the truck to put them, which is nice. Um, as you can see, we've got the bikes in there. And you can see right here is a good example of clearance issues that I'm having with the cap and other things. Uh, the cap almost probably should have been higher and that's my fault um, for not really thinking about how high the cargo glide raises things up. Um, you know, if I'd have got one of them high roofed units that might have been a smart choice. Um, I was a little worried about fuel economy and looks instead of function. So, but uh, yeah, I mean, watch here. So everything, everything clears and it's just trial and error, um, but we're getting there. We're a lot closer than I was a couple weeks ago when I thought that I just wasted a thousand dollars on this thing. And again, it's just trial and error of a new setup. And uh, so the other thing that I haven't mentioned yet is this gives me the ability to do all this the day before. Uh, today's Wednesday, we're leaving tomorrow, Thursday. So I have all that stuff packed and ready to go 
whereas before you know we'd be in the process of packing the camper today and that stuff would have to go in the last second the chairs the bikes all that stuff last second and so there's always a risk you might forget something there's this is just way less stress this is done don't have to worry about it tomorrow we just hitch up and go so friends i think we're about ready to go um, as you can see though we got some beach chairs we got the towel rack up here that we built um, but there's a lot less clutter here inside the camper which is something we were definitely going for um, and uh, you know we can if we need to stop on the road we always could do that of course we don't have water in the tanks right now so we won't be but we could uh, so we're getting on our way we're gonna get hitched up and hit the road Okay, so friends, a couple things real fast that I want to just address is in the uh, Shawnee video, it kind of looks like my bars aren't quite parallel to the frame, and uh, so I thought I would double check it now, and they're they're actually not, which is interesting. Um, that 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 would be the case, because uh, I'm pretty anal about weight distribution hitches and setup, so you would have thought I would have noticed that before now. But uh, we are going to tow with it just like it is for now um, and might adjust that later on down the road but um, what I've spent all week working on is getting this hitch jack tilted or uh, turned sideways um, so hopefully you can see that we're gonna do a video on that once we kind of field test it a little more and make sure that it's not gonna break on us um, and then I'll show you how we did it but the reason why we did that is because now our tailgate opens and so if we have to stop on the road somewhere and let the dogs out, we can do that. Are you excited for the beach? Yeah. Ready to go Chicotig Island KOA? Well, we'll see when we get there. <laughs> I don't know if I like it yet. I've never been to this one. We're very close to getting to the campsite. Uh, we've had a lot of delays and red lights on this trip down here. I've done this drive quite a few times and it, it feels like the Bay Bridge kind of fakes you out. It makes you feel like you're getting close when in reality you're nowhere close. So it seems like it's taking forever to get here. Uh, but um, we're close. Uh, we're gonna get set up and then uh, in the morning we're gonna try to go see the sunset. So. Sunrise. 
we're, yeah, <laughs> we've got a lot planned for this little excursion, so, um, but stay with us because uh, we'll be at the campsite shortly. that I've ever purposefully got up at 5 o'clock in the morning to try to come see a sunrise. I don't know if it's that I get to see it every day at work or what, but um, we thought sunrise on the beach would be cool, so that's where we're trying to take you at the moment. And it's a nice cool morning, and I think today is going to be our best day weather-wise, so. And then hopefully tomorrow maybe we can sleep in. Happy you got to see your horses? Yeah. She's been waiting all trip to see these feral horses. Oh well, um, yeah. This is what this place is known for. It is. <laughs> they canceled the pony drive this year though because of COVID again. That's a shame. They um the Chickatee Fire Company, I think, volunteer fire company, will herd them over to Chickatee and sell auction off a certain number of the herd to raise money 
and then they'll drive the rest of them back over. They'll herd them back over across the channel. It's a really big deal. It takes place at the end of July, I think, usually every year. Okay. So I got Rachel this for our anniversary, so I want to film her opening it so we can share it with everybody. I'm not nervous about what it is. She has no idea what it is, although really it's don't. something that I know she wanted. If she'd have read the front of the package, she'd know. Oh, oh that's cheating. And don't think I didn't consider it when I put your laundry away. What's this? You got me one of those shirts, babe. That's awesome. And that's the color I wanted, too. Which I didn't know that, by the way. So friends, we think it's important to support people that have a positive impact on the world. And um, so with, with saying that, uh, we are members of Team Journey on Patreon. And so we do try to support them. And uh, we think they're a good influence. So there's a lot of people that have in influenced us to get out and travel and influence the way that we travel. It's all stuff that we've learned by watching people and um, being inspired. So we want to inspire you guys. And uh, and that's really all I have to say about that. So You're right, it really is soft. So friends, this is the lighthouse trail that we're walking on. Um, you can't bring your bikes, but um, this is the only place so far we've been that's real bad with mosquitoes. There's actually some on me right now. Um, so if you're planning on walking over here, probably best to bring some bug spray. Um, we heard the whole island was bad, but so far this is the only place we've been where I've seen, seen them. Friends, this one is done to perfection. Yeah, it is. Man, look at that. Okay, so friends, this is our tower act that we made. I'm in use. And uh, so far, it seems like it works really well. And uh, now, as you can see here, the awning is free of stuff hanging off of it after a day at the beach. So if it was windy, we could put it in right away, which was kind of our problem before. morning some peppered bacon and this is some good stuff we get from a local local butcher um, we think that's the best way to go for bacon get it all nice and peppered like that thick cut yeah, 
ko yun. Okay, friends. So I just want to show you our campsite. It's been a little bit wet today, uh, but um, but we did go over to. Let me go back inside here. So this morning we went over to the uh, the island, the Chigatigue Island Museum. So then after we came back from the museum, we drove around a little bit and we did some shopping and souvenir shops and stuff like that. But a uh, tremendous amount of traffic on the island today, so couldn't really do too much of that. But then uh, just kind of came back and sat and watched it rain. It's still raining a little bit, but we're going to drive over to Aztique and, um, you know, just check out the beach. And there's a little like wildlife loop that we want to go drive and do. So that's what we're going to do now and uh, we're going to take you with us. What do you want to? There's donuts there's in the truck. Donuts in here. Why do you want donuts? <laughs> I think we set a bad precedent by having donuts on the beach the other day. Well, Rachel, tell them what we've seen on the wildlife tour. Birds. Birds. Lots of birds. Well, anyway, uh, so we're just kind of driving around namelessly right now. Um, well, right now we're just kind of sitting. But we kind of screwed up, and I just thought about this. We should have got the permit to drive on the beaches, um, you know, it's like $110 uh, to get that permit, and I'm kind of cheap, and we had spent a lot of money on this trip already, so I didn't really think it was something we wanted to get into, but it would have been something good to do on a rainy day. Oh, maybe everyone out here is fishing. Maybe that's just what they're That's doing. what I think people are doing. There's, I mean, there's some people out here, like a fair amount of people out here. Gotta be fishing because they're fishing, they're fishing. Well, friends, if our roof is leaking. At least we're going to find out about it right about now. But so far we've not had any wetness in the rig. But it sure is wet outside. Um, this morning, uh, it's Sunday morning, we're, we have to check out by 11. So we're trying to get a little bit of beach time in this morning. Um, yesterday though, uh, in the evening, um, since it was raining, we didn't want to cook at the campsite. So we went to Dawn's Seafood Restaurant. And I highly recommend checking that place out. Um, the prices are reasonable. The food was really good. Um, so that worked out real nice. And, um, you know, we tried to make the best of the rainy day yesterday. The souvenir shops and stuff. But uh, because we couldn't go to the beach yesterday, that's why we're kind of rushing to get to the beach this morning a little bit. Um, but the weather today is supposed to be great. So we'll show you some beach footage.
everybody. We're just about back to the Bay Bridge, going the wrong direction, away from the beach, and uh, into the Maryland traffic jam of the century. Well, everybody's leaving the beach on Sunday, so everybody's going home, unfortunately. But uh, we had a pretty good time. Uh, we would like to go back to Chigatig, but there's a lot of things that we would have liked to have done that we didn't get to because of weather and lack of time. Well, I know kayaking was one of them. We didn't take them this time because we knew we only had a few days and it rained one of those days, so it's a good thing we didn't take them. Uh, but kayaking around in the Chikatik Channel would be really cool. NASA, we didn't get to do NASA either. Right now, NASA, the visitor center is closed. The NASA Wallops Island Visitor Center is closed due to COVID. Um, so that's disappointing. And we're also leaving two days before they're going to do a launch. We could have seen the launch even probably from the campground. We're missing that. So it's definitely on our list to go back. So the campground was pretty nice. They do have a water park there if that's something that you're interested in. But, uh, you know, we kind of feel like why would you drag your camper five hours to go to a water park when there's lots of water parks around us at home so uh, they had a lot of amenities we didn't get to use pool and the jumping pillow and all that stuff just because Friday we tried to squeeze so much into one day because we knew Saturday was a wash the last thing I do want to mention is uh, I did adjust the weight distribution hitch on the truck and it seems a lot better I can't believe that I missed that when I set it up the first time of course it was like dark out pitch black when I was trying to set this up so we're gonna do a whole episode on that coming up probably right after this one because um, I want to get that out there I feel like it's the most important thing to towing so uh, stay tuned for next week and uh, we'll see you there <laughs>